Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kristen and this is my planning YouTube channel. Um, just a heads up, I didn't end up using most of the stuff that I pulled out for this thumbnail because I put it to the side and then I forgot that I had it. So sorry about that, but I did try to pull in a couple of things. So I am using this kit from Sticky Essentials. And although this bottom washi that came with the kit is really cute, I did opt for these two from Simply Gilded. One is a striped with champagne gold bows and the other is pink stardust. Um, I did end up pulling a lot of gold into the kit, mostly because the glitter headers are also gold. And, you know, gold is my safe zone. I love champagne gold. It's my absolute favorite. But I'm going to jump right into the bottom washi. So I am whiting out these bottom lines. That way it does not show through my washi. And I am just using a very generic white out. I think it's from like Office Depot. I really don't know. My mom brings it home and I'm like lit. I need that. So yes, a couple things you should know about me. Um, I just graduated from university. I'm so excited. I do work part-time. I have two part-time jobs at the moment until I find that one perfect full-time job that I hope is coming very, very soon. But yeah, I just got into the planning world in June, I believe. So that's about like six or seven months ago. And originally I started out with a Erin Condren horizontal planner. And I really liked that. I stuck with it for a couple of months and it was fun, but I kind of missed out on like being able to use a lot of sticker kits because not a lot of shops make kits for that format of a planner. So Luckily for me, my best friend fell out of planning and she gifted me her vertical planner. So that's kind of what I'm working with now. Um, I got this in October, so I have been fiddling with it until I feel comfortable enough to finally make a plan with me. But so far, so good. I really like it. I finally feel comfortable in the planner and like owning my own style, I guess. So that's where we're at now. <laughs> I'm actually going on vacation with that same exact friend and uh, we're taking a cruise to finally celebrate that all of us are 21 in our immediate friend group. So that's really exciting and if you guys want to see that spread, it will be a memory spread so it'll be uploaded in three weeks from now. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you are wanting to see that. I have some really cool stuff like a kit from Glam Planner and the Hawaii exclusive washies from Simply Gilded that I'll be pulling. So definitely stay tuned for that. But back to the washi, um, I am using a slice tool that I ordered off of Amazon and that heart ruler is from Hobby Lobby. If I can, I'll try and link it down below for you guys. That washi is so gorgeous. Like I'm looking at it in the video and then I'm looking at it in my planner and I'm just in awe. It looks so, so pretty. I do have a little bit of trouble um, staying in frame and putting stickers down crooked, putting sticker down straight, but it is my first plan with me. So I'm so sorry. Please stay with me. I swear I get better. Hopefully, I don't really know. The spread ends up looking really cute. It just looks a little bare because, like I said, I'm part-time. So I don't have as many plans going in right now just because I'm off from both of my jobs, which is so devastating. But I do my best to fill it in. Oh my god, I'm so sorry my face is in there. I'm so, so sorry. I'm going to fast forward through that because I think I dip my head in this clip a lot. And I feel like if I'm fast forwarding, at least you won't see it as often. You know what I mean? So here we go. All right, now we are at times two, I believe, times two or times three speed, but it literally looks like I'm going at a normal pace because I am that slow when I put my glitter headers on. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm going to have to work on that, but bear with me. I am so excited to plan this week for this video, but I'm not going to lie, I was really hesitant at first because I didn't know if this should have been my first plan with me ever because... Um, I just don't have a lot of plans going into this week, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I work part-time. I have two part-time jobs, and my first part-time job is in the off-season, and then my other part-time job is on break right now. So what I mean by that is I am a substitute teacher, so we are on Christmas break right now, and there is just not a whole lot going on, you know? There's not a lot of classes to cover because no one is in session. So that kind of puts a damper on some of my plans for the week. And then my other job, I work for a sports organization, but we are in the off season right now. So obviously I don't have any shifts to work if we are not playing, but I promise during the actual season and whenever we are um, rocking and rolling with school, you will kind of see more plans trickle into my planner and it just looks more full, looks fuller. Yeah, just looks fuller in general. Um, 
but yeah, I promise that is not always the case. It's just this week I did kind of leave a couple of days empty, but I try to put at least one thing in there just because I know when I watch videos and I see a completely empty day, it gives me like anxiety. But um, yeah, so I just finished up my glitter headers and oh my gosh, that bottom washi is stunning. I cannot get over it. Really when I put these full boxes in, everything pulls into each other and it just looks great. Looks so good. But I am going to start on my sidebar. So I picked this clock as my sidebar quote instead of like the quote one because when I look at this clock, it tells me it is time for a new year, time for a fresh start, and time to get my shit together. So that's kind of why I went with it. I think it's really cute. Also, I can never tell if I'm putting stickers down crooked or not in my sidebar. So if you are watching this and you are seeing me put down stickers crooked left and right, I am so sorry. That is not my intention. Um, I genuinely cannot tell because I am a mess and that's pretty much all I got. I'm literally just a mess. So I'm sorry. I am going to speed things up just a little bit because... To be honest, it takes me a little bit longer to get through this sidebar than I'd like to admit because I was so all over the place and I really couldn't commit to one thing because I really wanted the spread to come out perfect. But um, yeah, normally I use a 5mm washi from Simply Gilded to split up my quote box from my habit trackers and then so on and so forth. But um, this week I was kind of hoping for something lighter than the colors that I had available. So I opted to use the little washi strips that come with the kit instead, and I think it looks really, really cute. So I do track two habits. The first one that I'm putting down is to track a zero waste lifestyle, and the second one is to track no soda. So I feel like the no soda one is pretty self-explanatory, but zero waste basically means that I try not to accumulate trash at all. So I don't use plastic bottles, I don't use plastic straws, I do not use napkins. Um, so on and so forth. I'm trying to live a more environmentally conscious lifestyle in order to help the planet and just to live a more sustainable life. I have been doing this for maybe like a week or so and I realize that it's really hard just to automatically dive straight into a zero waste lifestyle, especially since I still live with my parents and they do not adapt to a zero waste lifestyle. Um, it just makes it really hard for me to make that full transition um, the way I would like to. So I am starting out by just doing a low impact life, which basically is kind of similar. It just means that I do have some trash that I bring into my life, you know, ex-boyfriends, toxic people. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> That's so petty. No, um, I do have some trash that I bring in. Like I still eat chips out of a bag and just like small things like that. But I do try to swap out as many of my natural ha normal habits with um, more sustainable options like reusable straws, reusable cups, um, bringing my own Tupperware to the grocery store, things like that. Um, small steps make a big impact and I don't think enough people think like that. So back to my sidebar, I do track my dinners and <laughs> it's just a fun way to look back at what I was eating that week, see like if I'm eating out too much or you know, if my mom made a really good recipe, because she always asked me, Kristen, what do you want for dinner? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. Like, I always think of the same three things, which are like lasagna, pizza, and chicken. Like, those are the only things I think of. But sometimes I can just flip through my planner and I'm like, oh my gosh, remember two weeks ago whenever you made that ricotta spinach pasta? Like, please do that again. So that's just a fun little thing. Yeah, I live with my parents. I'm spoiled. I already know that. My friends tell me all the time. My mom is the best cook in the entire planet, and if mom, if you ever get into planning enough to watch these videos, just know I love you, girl, and you're the best cook in the world. Um, all right, so I put down a three-card checklist for like my top three this week, and I don't normally do this, so it's not technically a top three. It's just kind of three things that are happening that are pretty big that are like things that I'm going to forget but I need to remember, you know? And that little space at the bottom was so weird. I thought I was going to be able to fill it up with some washi from the kit, but I couldn't. So I just put in this Simply Gilded and Planner Sophisticate collab washi in instead. I love that washi. I think it's so cute with the little Sophisticate bow. So, so cute. And I know I don't fill anything in. I'm going to fill it in at the end. So I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. And then this part, I'm like, hmm, do I want to put a five millimeter? Yes or no? And the answer is no, because it doesn't fit. And I can clearly see it doesn't fit. But here I am, I'm like, oh, the white doesn't fit, maybe the black will fit. So then I try to make it fit, but then it doesn't. Don't, don't worry, I don't end up doing it. <laughs> I just look so dumb. But I don't end up doing it. Like, I'm like, mm, no, not going to work. So I'm like, all right, cool. That's my sidebar. Um, it looks really cute. But I don't know what I'm doing now. What am I doing? I should be doing my full boxes, so why am I grabbing that? I'm on my own, broken alone. 
I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air like a blazing flare Okay, I think that looks so good. Um, the full boxes are down and my date covers are on. I am going to go back in and add, um, do I do my page flags first? No. Okay. So these are cruise ship foiled icons. They are foiled in gold and they are from the Cynical Planner. I love that shop for foiled icons. She is so great. The customer service is incredible and the product is just, oh, I love. And she's not that expensive either. She's on Etsy. I'll leave her linked down below. But I am marking, um, the countdown to how many days I have until my cruise with some of my best friends in the absolute world. I think we are under two weeks at this point. Yeah, so it's like 12 days on Monday. So I'm putting that down just to kind of do a countdown. I did have countdown number stickers that were supposed to come in, but they just didn't get here on time and then the post office lost them. So that kind of didn't help anything. But then I was just La, 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 la. words are so hard then I remembered that I had to put these page flags down I'm having a really hard time putting down the second page flag because oh my gosh I don't know like they were just kind of like sized weird but I always forget like when I have date covers like you have to cut part of them off and I'm just not used to that because I don't normally use date covers but I'm doing it for the sake of this video because I wanted this suite to look really really nice um so I kind of went all out in a sense like something no I didn't go all out but like it, it looks really pretty for sure um, so now I am going into the day by day planning, which is why I am pointing so dramatically. But like I said, in the actual footage, um, I was talking. So originally when I filmed this, I like was talking as I was planning stuff out. So that's kind of why it's like taking me so long to get to where I want to be. But I do end up choosing these, um, what are the like glitter quarter boxes? They're a little bit bigger than a quarter box. So I want to say they're like third boxes. But um, I put that in on New Year's Eve and the New Year's Day because I thought that was how I was going to mark in New Year's Day, but I ended up changing it. But that box at the top of Monday is definitely for New Year's Eve. And I am putting in this page flag that came with the kit along with an icon from the kit as well to mark in that I have to package and drop off a um, order that... Basically, I sold something on Facebook and I have to take it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to sound like so official, like an order. No, I literally sold something on Facebook and I have to take it to the post office. I know they're not going to be open on New Year's Day, but I still have to take it because I'm going to forget. This half box is to mark in that I have a party at my boyfriend's house that night and I'm so excited for that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have for Monday. I did leave a little bit of space in case I do something in between, but I really doubt that I do because I'm lazy. Um... Tuesday, I am using that first box to mark in a zero waste lifestyle day. So it is officially day one of my zero waste or low impact life. And then this little cut, kiss cut glitter heart icon is from Scribble Pence Co. And that's how I'm going to mark in that it is a 
new day. It's a fresh start. It is a new year. Now I'm using these budget time stickers from Piper Paper Company to mark in that I do have to finalize my budget for the new year. Um, I do have a budget planner and I use a very strict budgeting technique to kind of control all of my finances because I am part-time so my income is obviously not that high but um, I do have to kind of track it to make sure that my spending doesn't get out of control. So if you want guys if you want to see videos on something like that, please let me know and I will be happy to post budgeting videos as well. So this hat box on the 2nd, right? Yeah, on Wednesday is to mark in my dad's birthday. So fun fact, my dad has two birthdays. He has his actual birthday and then he has the birthday that, you know, he has on his American birth certificate. But they messed up whenever my dad was coming into America. Like, they didn't listen to him. So they also spelled his middle name wrong. But, I mean, whatever. Um, but, yeah, so that's to mark that. And then that fancy label right there is to mark in that my best friend is going to Colorado. Oh, I'm going to miss her so much. But, um, yes. So I also forgot to mark in a couple of things on Tuesday. So you're going to see me bounce around a lot. Because, like I said, I'm I'm kind of new to this whole, like, planning thing like on film, normally I do plan like this. I'm very sporadic. Like I'll see stuff and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I don't want to forget that. But since it's on video, like it looks really annoying that I'm jumping around so much. But on Tuesday, there is a sticker sale. There is a Rose Colored Days Oops sale that goes live as well as her $2 Tuesday. And I love Rose Colored Days so much. I feel like her and Andrea, Andrea, I think it's Andrea, and Andrea from Scribble Prince Co. I think they're just changing the game so much and I love them so much. Um, I love to support them. I am back on Wednesday and I'm using this like sticker from Miss Moss to mark in that there is a game from my alma mater. They're playing basketball. They are undefeated. They are currently 13 and 0 right now. And they are the, I think there are only four teams left in college basketball that are undefeated. And one of my alma mater is one of them. So very, very proud of them. And I definitely want to go and support them if I can. So I'm using that to mark that in. Um, moving on to Thursday, I have literally nothing for Thursday, so I am just putting this strip of washi down from the kit, and then I am layering over a Me Time sticker that is also gold foiled, and that is from the Cynical Planner. So I'm going back because I forgot something. What did I forget? Oh yeah, I forgot that I wanted to upload um, this video on Tuesday. So at first I was going to upload it on Monday, but then I'm like, oh no that's not going to work. So I was like, I have to edit it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I am editing this video and then, um, I will be uploading it tomorrow. So I'm about to mark that in. Bam! There I am. Okay. These edit, upload, and film stickers are from Rose Colored Days. I got them in an oops bag and they were actually not foiled. And then this really, really nice lady was like, yeah, send it to me and then I'll foil it and then I'll send it back to you. And I was like, no way. So I did that and she sent it back to me. I was like, I was like for sure that I wasn't going to get those back. So she's so sweet. So thank you so much. I, f I remember your name. I'll put it in, but I don't think I do. Sorry. Um, so that's like my big fat stack of gold foiled stickers. I separate all my all my stickers by foil instead of like by category just because it's easier for me but I'm already on Friday and I wanted to mark in that it is a payday it's a payday for me because um yeah it's been a really long time since I've been paid so I am marking that in with a gold glitter fancy label and I am just layering this over so this payday sticker is gold foiled and it is from Planning City that is another really good foil shop that's actually super affordable she's new she just started but I have a ton of stuff from her um and it's really good quality. It's really good stuff. But um, also on Friday, I am going to be kind of fidgeting with my cash envelope. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm really into budgeting because my finances are so, I don't want to say like small, but like small. Um, because they're so limited, I do have to watch like literally every single dollar that goes in and out of my account. Um, just because I want to practice having good financial habits. So that way in the future, I'm not like I'm not going to be crazy with my money whenever I do come into a actual income. So I run a cash envelope system. It's really helpful for me. Um, I love it. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. But I'm also putting down these best friend munchkins from Once More With Love to mark in that I am having a day date with my best friend. So I love these little things. They are two girls, but I don't really buy into gender roles. <laughs> so... 
It could be two girls, it could be two boys, I don't really care. They just look like two kiddos with bows in their hair, and yeah, so. I don't buy into gender roles, and neither should you. So right now, I'm struggling because it is also my aunt's birthday on this day, and I am looking for a sticker that's like cute, because I have these birthday stickers from So Cute Planner, but I just didn't really want them in there because I felt like the colors were too vibrant, and I'm kind of going with muted colors this week. But I found this off of a sampler from... I think from the Cynical Planner. Y'all, I'm, I'm heavy repping the Cynical Planner this week. But yes, so she, I think I got this in my Black Friday order, I'm pretty sure. But it's just a little cake doodle, and I'm going to put that in to mark in my aunt's birthday. And the cruise sticker is my countdown, moving on to Saturday. Saturday, nothing going on. Didn't even mark it. Completely skipped over it. I was like, nope, not even talking about it. <laughs> so Sunday, I am marking in that I have a basketball game to go to for my alma mater. We are playing, I forget who we're playing, but I'm going to look it up later when I end up writing it in. And then that's pretty much it, y'all. So that's literally my day by day, but now I'm going to go in and like fill it all out. So here I go. I really quickly want to mention that every sticker I use and like my slice tool and all that will either be linked down below or at least listed under like which shop I got it from. I don't have any PR codes or anything like that because I am like new to the planner scene, obviously, but if I do know any coupon codes, I will leave them down below for you. Normally, I'd say that I would link stuff, but that's kind of a lot of work and I'm really not into that, so I'm just not going to do it. Um, a couple things. I mess up on my hand lettering here, so it kind of traumatizes me for the rest of the spread and I don't hand letter anything else and I'm just, ugh, I'm so dramatic. It doesn't even look that bad, like it doesn't even look good either, but you know what I mean. And then I do end up adding a emoji. So this is from the wine time sheet from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I just marked that in like that. And it looks so cute. I am a wino. So if you ever catch me drinking a beer, I am probably in pain. And that's not me. I'm being kidnapped. I'm being held against my will. But um, yeah, so here you go. Oh, this is me trying to figure out how many days are left in my cruise. And then I keep getting caught up on the days like I think I keep messing up, so I go back and I count like five times, and I'm like, wait, 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 I, for I skipped a day, nah. so that's me, and I'm panicking, but anyways, like I said, I, oh, that sticker sale from, on Tuesday is from Letters to Apollo. I forgot to mention so many things. I am so bad at this, but like I said, I'm new. Everything will be listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see what my spread looks like at the very end, um, you can watch my video next week because I will put it in the very beginning just to kind of show you how the week ended up finishing out and then I will pre-plan for the following week. But you can also follow my Plansta, which is my planner Instagram. I will have that link down below as well, but my username will be listed right there. Boom, there it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you guys next week. Bye. No point in blaming you, you did not know oh. I thought you were